Hey friends, welcome to Nature Notes, a chicken report edition. Today we are going to talk about the subject of poop, chicken poop. I thought you all might be interested in this topic. I don't know how I knew that, but um, let's let the girls out for their recess and we'll get started on our topic. Oops, I gotta undo the latch. They are very excited, as you can see. All right, come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. There they go. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, we are going to talk about chicken poop today. So let's go in the coop where we are sure to find plenty of that. Um, so, chickens poop a lot. They poop 12 to 15 times a day. That's a lot of poop. Um, you can see there's piles of it over here. This is kind of... So, they roost on these poles up here. And when they roost, it drops down into these little piles here. And where does poop come from? Who knows where poop comes from? Well, it comes from the food that we eat. And it is, um, the poop is the food, the part of the food that our bodies do not use for energy. So um, poop and pee are waste products. They are things that our body doesn't need. And so we need to get, our bodies need to get rid of them. So in humans, in people, that's us, poop and pee are separate. But in chickens, poop and pee are together. So let me show you. Um, so see the white part? The white part is their equivalent of pee. And then the brown part, of course, this is my chicken pooper scooper. Um, the brown part is, is, um, is the waste, the, the poop. But the white part is, is the equivalent of our pee. So they don't have a really watery, um, runny pee in most cases like we do. And the reason for that is to save water. Um, the chickens, um, let me get out from under this roosting pole. Um, well, chickens obviously are birds. And even though these chickens don't migrate, uh, many, many birds do migrate. And when birds migrate, some migrate hundreds and thousands of miles over oceans because they're traveling from one continent to another. Um, they travel just hundreds and thousands of miles. It's amazing. So in order to fly over um, th these bodies of water, they, um, they don't have the ability to stop and drink fresh water because the ocean is salt water. They can't, you can't drink ocean water. So that is um, the reason why um, birds do not have very really liquidy pee like we do. Hi, Clarissa. Hey, chicken. Hi, chicken. That might be all I have on that subject, actually. Um, oh, well, um, their poop changes a little bit depending on what they eat. So some days they might eat a lot of grass and then their poop will have a lot of grass in it and it'll kind of look greenish. Um, if I feed them a lot of blueberries, their poop will be purple. If I feed them a lot of watermelon, their poop will be watermelon color. So their poop, it's normal for poop to change a little bit depending on what they eat. And that's kind of the same for people as well. Um, they, they poop, um, they poop during the day and they poop during the night. So let's go back here and see another spot where they roost and we can also see what eggs we got today. Oh, look at all those beautiful eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that one, that egg has some poop on it. So I'll wash that one off for sure. So you can see this is one of the areas that they roost in and they get, they get lots of poop in here too or well yeah at night they kind of hang out up here by the boxes 
Um, so yeah, they, this is, ooh, that one has a lot of uric acid on it, the white stuff. So yeah, chicken poop. What is that noise? Oh, that was the, the door just blew shut. It's been a little breezy the last few days. Oh no. The chickens is missing a lot of neck feathers. She must be getting pecked. Um, I think it's actually Marguerite. She's starting to look a little rough like Buffy. Uh, well, um, the other thing, let's see, was uh, yesterday Greg and I were working on the chicken protection system the, or the, the hawk deterrent system. And you can see we've been making a lot of progress. We were right about here with, you see we got our ladders up and we're tying all the strings across the whole yard. Um, Greg was just like right here on the ladder, like right where I am right now by this pole. And I was kind of back, back that way. So I couldn't really see around this corner of the house here. And a red-tailed hawk came down through the mesh and try to get a chicken. It didn't, fortunately, all the girls survived. And um, I cannot believe that this this hawk came down with Greg like right here. So maybe it came hoping it didn't really see that Greg was here, um, hoping that it wasn't that bold, that maybe it came from the other side of the house and couldn't see that Greg was here, but it did have trouble getting back out uh, underneath the mesh. It actually had to go over, over to here and I think what, it, oh, Greg said that it did get kind of get it, the hawk kind of got its wing caught a little bit, trying to get up out of the mesh. So it came over here and I watched it. I think it snuck right up through this area here and kind of gathered itself on this branch here to kind of perch for a second while it recovered and then flew away. So maybe, maybe that was a scary enough incident that it won't come back and try that again. Um, or it was a learning incident where it learned how it can do it better next time. We don't really know. Um, animals are really smart about getting food because that's how they survive, um, including the chickens. Um, you know that, um, so yeah, that, that's what an animal's uh, main job is, is survival. And then they also need to reproduce. They need to make others that are like themselves. Um, so survival um, means they have to have food and water so animals are pretty good at it including these chickens yeah. I'm not quite sure what they found over here Hi, Marge. What's going on, Marge? Oh, she's looking pretty for you all. Hi, Marge. Yeah. Yeah, please don't peck my finger. Thank you. Hi, Buffy. Buffy's like, please don't pick me up. You pick me up all the time, and I don't like it. Hi, Buffy. Hi, T-Bone. Hi, T-Bone. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're good chicken. Yes, you're good chicken. So I'm going to, to illustrate my point of how good animals are at finding food. I might try to see if I can do what the chickens like to, oh wait, no, it's doors locked. Yeah. Well, I guess we're at nine minutes. That's about, this is about how long we go for, um, for the chicken reports. I think that's just about all I have for today. Um, well, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye.